Hi, cozy friends. How are we? Oh my goodness, so many updates for this week because it's finally the week that I started my job. I actually don't really have that many updates because this whole week was kind of like an onboarding IT like getting our computer set up, training on who we talk to and who we go to to ask questions and like HR and all that training stuff. So we really didn't do anything. And we only went into the office. Well, I only went into the office yesterday and it was really fun. It was great. Like all the people are really nice and cool, which is why I chose the firm to begin with because I liked the people. And it's just like super casual and we went to happy hour after. It's just really fun and it's like a, a fun environment to be in for a job that is just like objectively hard anyways. <laughs> so at least the environment is nice and like kind and patient and I like that. And here I was talking about, you know, working on weekends and stuff, but I forget that again, another reason why I chose this firm is because people were like, no, this, everybody respects weekends here, which I think is so nice. I think that's so nice because I already have a friend who is working on the weekends and I feel terrible. So I am happy for that. My stream days can be my sacred time and I can know that that won't be interrupted. So I'm excited about that. I'm like optimistic. I like it. I like it. And I like people. I did my first assignment today. It was great. It felt great. Oh my God. And I got the, I got a Red Bull gift in the mail today they sent this for like kind of a joint thing like finishing law school taking the bar and starting a job this was like what the gift was i posted it everywhere so you've probably already seen it if you follow me on other things but this cute sweatsuit that says i know it's going to be backwards it says work hard stay cozy isn't that so cute? It's very girl boss, but I love it. <laughs> I love it because it's personalized. And then they sent this framed personalized picture. Like somebody drew this. I wish I could take it down, but I just put it up there. It's a f picture of Jayla. Like they even got his spots and his 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 patterns right. One of my my keyboards. And then my switch, my wrapped switch with Stardew on it. And then a little coffee cup. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. And they're just the they're just the best. Like I have the best contacts over there. And they support me and believe in me. And that's always so sweet. So thank you. Thank you. Cause one of those contacts watches these videos. So thank you for everything. Let's let's start before I cry out of just pure joy so i realized because someone commented it that i and also i realized it when i was um editing the last video that i didn't use the key that i got to the sewers i didn't go see crobus oh they're in good humor oh it's demetrius's birthday what is he like what is he like i don't know and i have to go to the traveling car i didn't go last week either y'all were yelling at me i know i'm sorry our hay is growing look at that Okay, so I think I said I wanted to save for another pig, maybe. Come on. Let my poo through. Oh, and y'all were like, plant some goddamn grass. I will, I will. Hello, little babies. Also, someone said don't put void eggs in the omelet, but I did. I had already done it and finished the quest when I saw that. So I'm sorry, but I think it, it's, I think it's fine. It worked out. I think everybody still liked it. All right, and they said check the silos. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely low. Okay, grass. Oh look, some grass is growing. Look at that. Some of some of the grass I planted is growing. Yeah, I'm just like one thought step behind y'all. I'm almost there. Red mullet. Is that the one we need? I feel like it's not. No, I think we need the red snapper. Who? Yeah, we need a red snapper. Okay, so let's get ourselves. Let's let's get another pig because the pigs bring home the bacon. <laughs> they um so dumb. Oh, I can get a rabbit as well. That's fun. The truffles sell for a lot. So, oh, I said I was going to name this one bucket. Bucket. Hell yeah. So now we have no money, which is okay, because Bucket and... What was it? Fruit, 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 
are gonna get us all the truffles eventually as soon as they become big enough and it stops raining damn we've done a lot today it's only 10 10 50. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Find Demetrius a present. Demetrius, he loves ice cream, bean hot pot, rabbit's foot. Oh, he likes strawberry and I just sold it. Rice pudding. Okay, I'm gonna go up and get a strawberry. The strawberry I just sold, mind you. Also, looking at myself in the mon in the screen, I realize I never wear my hair out and it's really something, isn't it? <laughs> It's just massive. I I like it like this. It just gets on me. Like it's like all over me and it kind of gets in the way and I just too much sensory overload. So I usually like it up and off, which is usually why you see it in a bun, which is then it's like, well, why do you have it if you put it in a bun? <laughs> why do you have it? Why do you have hair if you put it in a bun? You know what I mean? Maybe I should cut it shorter. Should I cut it shorter? Cause I used to wear it out a lot when it was short like this length kind of, but then I grew it out. I mean, I, I didn't even intentionally grow it out. I'm really talking hair on it. I didn't intentionally grow it out. It, I just never cut it. Like I don't go and get it cut. I don't cut it myself. I never cut it ever. I know it's terrible. I have split ends. I know. I don't ever think about it. I don't think about, I don't think about it. So I just don't do it. And it's like generally healthy. So I don't know, it's whatever. So this has been growing uncut, like maybe a few trims. Uncut since 2017, maybe 2018. No, you're welcome. Let's just see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. Okay, there's like not much I can get besides the house upgrade. We need 50,000 and 150 pieces of hardwood. So, where the hell is Pooh? Did I leave Pooh? I left Pooh because I was yammering about hair, which I will continue in a second. Who's just standing there with the hat on? Looking so silly. Anyways, yeah, how many years is that? Four years. That's not that long. Yeah, so I, and I cut it, it was like here, like in length, it was like here, probably. There's no intentionality behind this style. There's no anything. It just is what how it's growing out of my head since I cut it myself, cut all my hair off myself with no direction, no anything. I just chopped it off where the permed part started. That's what we've been working with ever since. It's, it's like uneven on places. So maybe I shall do that, I don't know. Thank you for sitting here and listening to me reason through doing the normal thing that people do and cut their hair. Do y'all have any like epiphanies, hair, big hair realizations or changes? Like I think a lot of people realize because of TikTok that they had curly hair and they didn't realize because they weren't like using the right products or like washing their hair in the right way or whatever or like wavier hair. And you see those TikToks of people like, uh, what, I've had curly hair this whole time. I love those. Did any of y'all have that going on? I don't know if I've told my hair story, but my hair story is that I had straightened my hair since sixth, fifth grade, fifth grade. My mom came to me and was like, your hair is difficult to deal with because she's a, a white mom who didn't have any kind of knowledge that there is nowadays floating around the internet and stuff on doing natural hair. And so she was like, look, Here's this thing we can do to make it easier on me to do it and you to deal with your hair. Because I also didn't like washing it and doing it because I didn't know how to do it either. Neither of us knew what to do. Oh, cheers. Cheers, by the way. Bloop. So, like, bless her heart, you know. She was, she was trying to do the best she could do, I guess. Was like, let's straighten your hair. And I was like, um, okay. And she's like, it's permanent. I'm like, oh, what does that mean? I'm, I'm however old you are in fifth grade. I don't understand lasting consequences. Yeah, so I did it. And I was also, and also being all fried mushrooms. Being the like one black kid in a completely white suburban town, I was like, I hate my hair. I want straight hair. I want to be white. <laughs> and I had no one to instill my love of myself in me and in, in just who I was because nobody understood. No one else understood what I was going through, you know. 
and again just like lack of lack of the same knowledge that's floating around these days on the subject i didn't like my i didn't know how to like my hair rather i will not place the blame on myself nobody taught me how to love my hair and myself because the people around me and society was telling me to hate it and so i did and i was like yeah okay i'll do straight hair so i did that up until 2016. Yeah, so for my whole life, I just had like straight hair. I would go in like two times a year, I think, get my hair permed. It took like three to four hours. Maybe it was like five or, it might've been five or six hours. It was not, like it was like, ooh, nice and, and straight and pretty. It was pretty and I was fine with that. I liked it. I thought that was the only, I genuinely believed I did not look good with anything else but straight hair. Like I was like, no, trust me. Like I look bad with not straight hair. And then I went to Howard, which is HBCU, which is a historically black college or university. And Howard is like the original. And there I learned to love myself and find beauty in myself. Even then for, for two years, I was like, no, I don't look good with, actually it was like a year, it was just a year. I was like, no, I don't look good with curly hair. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Even my dad had like instilled this thing of like short hair is for men and short hair is ugly on women and you're less of a woman if you have short hair, which is ridiculous. So I was scared to also cut my hair. I just had so many like societal things put, put on me. Just all these things for years and years of conditioning. I'm really going into it here, y'all. I'm <laughs> sorry. Sorry if this is not at all interesting to you. Yeah, so I, I got to Howard. I loved myself. Rather, I found beauty in other people who looked like me, but not in myself yet. And so it, it took a while for me to take the plunge and apply that to myself. I finally did. I finally was like, I'm going to do this and started growing my hair out. And I was like, OK, so because I can't have short hair, so dumb. I was like, I look bad with short hair. I look bad with anything but straight hair because my face is fat or something. I don't know what I don't know what like round. I don't know what was going through my head. I think it's just like being insecure as a as a young person because I look at myself now I'm like, "Hell yeah, girl, you could rock any cut." Like I like I genuinely have confidence and myself. And I, it's not even confidence, it's just like, "Yeah, I think I'm I've I have learned to find beauty in myself." And that is a cool thing regardless of any standards that are out there. Which is kind of what you have to do as a woman, especially a woman of color, but um, not even a woman. Like, as a human on this earth, you have to, like, learn. If you want to be happy with who you are, you have to learn to find beauty in yourself and other people that's outside of the standard. You have to create your own standard. Otherwise, you'll never be happy. And I think it, as a young person, you don't realize that that's even, like, possible. And you're like, no, the standard is the standard. Like, I have to be this way, this specific way. Otherwise, I'm not hot and nobody's going to think I'm hot. And that's true. Some people will never f stray from that standard. They're like, beauty is subjective. It's an eye of the beholder. Kind of, but it's also, like, hugely influenced by beauty standards that are perpetuated by media and all that. Still on my soapbox there, but I, th I think young people don't realize that you can create your own standard and that a lot of other people have learned to create their own standard just because of the people they surround themselves by or like the people, the like media they're consuming, whatever it is, like people create their own standards every day. And you have to do that in order to love yourself. Hell yeah, awesome. All of that to say, I finally was able to do that when I was older. But at the time when I was deciding to cut my oh, hey y'all, at the time when I was deciding to cut my hair, I just didn't believe. I, I was like, everything is ugly except the only way I've learned to like kind of be okay with how I look, which is straight hair that I've had my, my whole life. I was there was just I was being told conflicting things from everyone and myself until finally. Finally, I was like, I'm growing my hair out, and I, because I couldn't cut my hair in my in my head, just started doing that. I think for a year I grew my hair out, and so it was just like, basically, I didn't touch the hair that was growing out, so it was like growing out curly, and then the rest was straight. I didn't touch it, I didn't straighten it, because if I did, then I would get like, damn it, my curls would be damaged from the heat, and it wouldn't be curly. So I just didn't touch it, so I would always wear like braids and buns for like, a whole year, I only wore like braids and buns. And so that wasn't great for my self-esteem because <laughs> I was just like, I 
can't ever like look really cute and put together and stuff oh my god I'm going so in depth but I was also in a relationship that was like toxic and not okay and so I on top of that didn't feel great about myself but like it almost was timed perfectly with like okay well this is a time where I already don't feel great about myself so my, I might as well just do this and grow my hair out another sign of a very very unhealthy toxic relationship I was like I'm cutting my hair off because apparently that's something you do when you need to, you need to feel like you're in control of your life. And I was not in control of my life. Yeah. Cut it all off. Just chopped it off. Was not the plan at all. I, I was like, I'm done. I'm sick of it. Chopped it off. I just had like really, really, really short curly hair. I thought I looked like a boy. I <laughs> had a terrible, terrible complex with the short hair for a long time. I did not like it. Um, I like did like a little braid down thing often and it finally got long enough to kind of like be ear length and I was like this is cute you know it's a cute little bob yeah and then since then it's been growing out I think I started actually liking it and thinking I was pretty when I got out of my uh, emotionally abusive relationship so maybe that's had probably more to do with it than my actual hair um, yeah, I like got out of that relationship. I started law school and I was like, I am pretty and this works for me and I love my hair and I love everything. That is my extremely, extremely long, very TMI, very emotionally <laughs> intense hair story. So tell me y'all's hair story. Oh man, it's funny how um it's funny how something like hair, like something to do with your body can have so much meaning and so much backstory. You know what I mean? Oh, I can put my bucket away. Sick. Stories of the little lonesome black girl. <laughs> All that being said, I don't know that I would have changed my upbringing because it gave me a lot of perspective on a lot of things. I, I won't go into too much detail, but I think if I hadn't grown up in that world and with those perspectives, I think I would isolate myself a lot more from people. And that's fine. That's a great approach too. I, if, you, if you need to do that, that's valid. But um, I think I'm kind of able to like compartmentalize in maybe an unhealthy way, but in a way that allows me to like get along with certain kinds of people <laughs> and understand how to communicate with certain kinds of people and it's it's very valuable for like things like my job and stuff okay I don't know where I don't know where that entire <laughs> this entire day was just like running around chatting about hair thank you for listening I'm gonna have to finish this the next two days I still didn't go to the sewer Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm going to the sewer the next day. I have to finish the next two days after my D&D &D campaign meeting. Um, I don't know if I talked about this last week, but in my Discord, we're doing a D&D &D campaign. We're doing two D&D &D campaigns and then like merging at some point. Not merging, just kind of like intersecting. Our paths will cross at one point. And I'm so excited with my first D&D campaign and I'm really excited about my character and I just really like the group of people that we're playing with. So it's going to be really fun, but I'm doing that in four minutes. So I'm going to do that and I will record the next two days later. So I'll have some stories maybe. Yeah. All right. Bye. Hi y'all. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I've lived like three lifetimes. It's now, we started at, we started at six. It's now 11 o'clock. <laughs> pink cake. I learned pink cake. Going to the sewers. We played. It was so much fun. Our DM is great and just set up the nicest little world for us. Oh, Truffle oil. Okay, I'm not gonna have that for a while, sir. It was just really, really fun. And then we just spent, some of us afterwards, just spent like two hours talking. And like an hour of that, sending pictures of really terrifying cartoon ships that we are just like think, thinking up and searching on Google. <laughs> so that's what we were doing this entire time. And this entire time I knew I had to go film more Stardew and I couldn't, couldn't not do it, couldn't, 
Going into pull myself away. What's the saying? It's like watching a, a train car crash. Okay, I'm going to the sewers today. I'm going to the sewers today. I'm going to the sewers today. And it's Sunday, so I should go to the traveling car. Shoot, I need a hundred hardwood. No biggie. I'll just start doing that every day. I could buy a bunny. I don't really know what the bunnies do besides the rabbit's foot. <gasps> Cutscene! Hi Shane, you look unusually happy today. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Let me guess, Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer? Good one. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer and I feel great. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. You look sharp. It looks exactly the same. Hi Jazz, I've got something for you. Cute! These are real bunny jewel slippers. Cute. But these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. <laughs> I literally love that she says, you look sharp, but you has not changed. And why was I just creeping the whole time? Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, oh my God, yay. I know which one this is. He said to tell you he wants to show you something. I'm so excited. Fresh eggs. Free shavakadu. That should do it. Why your 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 chicken's not fed? It's the perfect home for you hens. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks, not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. Sigh. You know, Charlie, I was thinking, a guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair, you know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on, I know it. What's wrong, too much pressure? <laughs> I thought this was so cute when I, when I first dated Shane. Hey Ken, so what do you think? My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I... Well, I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I wanted to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute something somehow, even in a small way like this. Do I get a blue head now? No. White. Blue! Yay! We get a blue one! I'm so excited. Do they give you different eggs, or is it just the color? Oh, what should we name him? I'm thinking something random. Lanita, Lotos, Rupa, Chuku, Schnurta, Zemo, Jeepo, Nefe, Suza, Boot. We. Oh, I like we. We's like poo. Great, I'll send little we to her new home right away. Okay, I also want a bunny though. A little rabbit. A little rabbit. Wretch. Brew, Cuffy, Kutsos, Chupabo, Jonah, Jella, Lash, Matza, Watrina, Kuba, Shopert! They're so good. Okay, I did that. Oh, I need to do the wood, and then I need to do the sewers. Oh! I've never had this one before. Oh, Ken, you scared me. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. What? Did I just put- I just lifted her up? Thanks. You're stronger than you look. Here, try a piece. Okay, I've never gotten that one before. Interesting. You know, I just realized something. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. That's sweet. So nine more days of getting the hardwood. The next three, three weeks, I need to get them every day. I didn't check the traveling card, did I? Okay, let me just hit the sewers real quick. Yay, I unlock it, I unlock it. Here I am. Look at Krobus! I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. 
Sorry, I'm still a little wary of humans. My shop is still open to you, however. Yay, I could buy void essence. I could buy bat wings, a fireplace, a star drop for 20,000. See, that'll be a good one to get. Well, those are all fun and, and good. It's good to know you can buy bat wings because I want that butterfly hutch so badly and I'm not in the mines enough. Okay, pretend you just want a free vacation. Where would you go? Tocha Mega Mall, the beach. I mean, between these, I guess the beach. I think that would get old fast. That's because you live right next to a really nice beach, Miss Lady. I think it would too, but your other options were were not great. I gotta tell you. Okay, nothing good. I kind of want to go to the mines just for the gigs. Let's do it. Let's go to the mines. Oh, I should have kept that food on me. You know what? We're right here. Let's bring food to the mines. I don't really have an aim down here. I think I just want to like try and find artifacts and get some more iron. Maybe level up in combat and stuff. Okay, I just need y'all to see that I went through every single thing that I could hoe. And I hoed it. Okay. I went through every single one. I'm trying to find some artifacts in the bish. I am trying to find... Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm trying to find artifacts. All right. Going to sleep. All right. We got nothing going on. Spirits are in good humor, so maybe the mines will be good. Yay! All my, all my little guys are here. Look at that. I got my bun bun. My new blue guy. So excited. Okay, so I have all of the possible things for my chickens. I got one grown piggy who can't even find truffles. So all I need there is a what? Ostrich? Emu? Which one is it? That's the only one I need there. Yeah, we got some caviar. Okay, we did everything on the farm. I'm gonna go have crint, crint, crint. Have crint crack open these geodes. Do we have that one? I don't know if we have that one. Yes, we have this one. And then I'm gonna go to the forest. And then that's all the things I have to do. So I think I'll go to the mines again. I just need it. There's so many artifacts I don't have. So I might as well just look for them. All right, next order of business. Upgrade this hoe. Hold on now, hold on. Back up, 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 back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Back up. What are, they, what are they, those two doing? They made a baby? Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah, I don't care. Get me out of here. Oh my god, they were making babies over there. Do I have enough money for a new sword? Lava katana. Okay, I need that. I just need 25,000. Lava katana. Oh, the mushrooms gave me more attack. And I'm not even using it. Not even using it. That's okay. Going to sleep. Going to sleep. It's a long day. I'll. I'll. What's that? Stop hurting my wood that I so lovingly laid down. All right. So we got some geos for next time. I got a coffee. Coffee bean I could. Uh, plant i guess all right that is it thank you for listening to me blab all day today and then take a break and then blab some more and very tiredly <laughs> i will see you next week i love you stay cozy bye